Okay, we're doing it again. Here's the uh, the guitar I just got. You can see it's uh, it just came this way. Like I just picked it up off the porch, and uh, it looks like I got banged up a little bit. And uh, it's another Lix Pro. Before we get going, I just want to mention something. I'm gonna get to the guitar in just a second. Just want to address uh, a previous video. So I made a video about the mini version of this. There's a 30 inch. This is the 39 inch. It's weird. I don't reference guitars by 30 inch or 39 inch. I guess that's a scale that some people use. Bought it on Amazon. Um, the guitar, like I showed, I showed the photos. We'll do that again. I'll show the photos, the stock photos that Amazon has on their site. The uh, stock photos did not match the mini guitar that I got. And it showed photos of a full-size guitar. What I got was a mini version. So picture, well, you can go watch the video after, but picture a smaller body, but they use the same size parts. So everything was like bunched in. And then uh, the the uh, color of the guitar was off. It, was, it didn't match what the photos had. And the control plate was plastic. So I knew it was going to be a mini guitar. It just didn't look like the scale, like when you get a Strat mini or a Jazzmaster mini from Squire. They actually shrink everything down so it looks to scale. And that's what I thought the photo was. It turns out the photo was a picture of the large size one. So uh, I knew what I was getting. It's just, it was funny though. I made that video and I made some short videos on Instagram and YouTube shorts, hundreds of thousands of views, like one of my most successful little short videos and the comments just totally off base. People, uh, Amazon scammers, that's what you get for not reading the description. Uh, what else did people say? Um, Mainly, mainly stuff about Amazon, like dissing Amazon. And it had nothing to do with that. It wasn't even the company's fault. It was not even what people were commenting about. If they just, it just shows if uh, people took, like, it just shows the reaction people have so quick these days, rather than going, if you watch the full video, you would have understood everything. Like it was very clear, but it was just those short videos kind of out of context. People just like, lost their minds <laughs> and it's kind of reminded me of the stuff that just happened last week uh slash guns and roses people said he was leaving marshall nobody actually went and did the research and looked into it everybody um announced it and then it was determined to be wrong a few days later so it's like stop this jumping on stuff and uh being quick to judge so anyways let's open the guitar first let's take a look at the photos i'm gonna bring them up on the site and you're like why would you buy a cheap guitar again? Okay. The 30 inch was interesting. People actually really want it. They're like, I want to get one of those. So I'm like, okay, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And, uh, this one is on sale. I don't know if it's on sale still. Um, but it was on a discount. So it was like 149 Canadian at the time of when I bought it. looks like it's gone back up, but let's take a look at the photos. And, uh, I'm looking at the photos. For a reason, because this company, Lix Pro, actually messaged me on Amazon and they said, thank you for pointing out uh, the errors we had in our photos. Because I guess there was some, I can't really remember. I, I remember there was, I've done a few of these guitars. So there was one that was talking about like being a five speed guitar. So maybe that was a Strat. I don't know. But anyways, let's see if they've fixed things. So let's move the mic here so I can just reach over. Okay, first two images of the guitar. Um, third image, consistent, enhanced sound, vintage style, three saddle, ashtray bridge. Nothing really going on there. Uh, aux, they call it an aux connection port. That's the output jack. Three-way pickup selector, volume and tone. Looks good. Classic three-ply pickguard. That's still not right. That's a one-ply, but maybe they mean the thickness. I don't know. Quality sealed gear, quality sealed gear tuners. Okay, prevent dust, dirt buildup. They do if you're uh, playing in the dirt okay let's look at the parts uh 39 inch you got a headstock truss rod fretboard three ply get the bridge through a yeah it's pretty good there's nothing wrong here they've they've if this was the image that was wrong before and sir so there so that is the picture for the mini one that i bought so you can see how the bridge everything is like regular scale I thought the guitar was just going to be looking like that and the pieces would be smaller, like a mini pickup, mini uh, bridge, maybe mini control plate. 
No, they used full size and the body was small. So it looked really awkward. And uh, what kind of amps are those? Is that a Mesa in the back? Anyways, onto the guitar. Let's check it out. I don't have my cutting tool. So we're just going to pull the tape. Uh, what are my plans with this? Take a look at it. See how it is. If it's decent, um, see if it's like a good mod project guitar, maybe. And hopefully it's not damaged because it looks like it got thrown around a little bit. Man, they really don't put much packaging. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna, yeah, I has got a book. It's very interesting that they actually use the word, well, it's not really interesting. I, I think these are made in China, so they might not care about copyright. I don't know copyright laws, but they actually call it a Telecaster, which I'm pretty sure you can't do. Yeah, they're using the word Telecaster. That's, uh, pretty sure you can't do that. Pretty sure you can't do that. What do I know? I just know things. Okay. Uh, yeah, truss rod, Allen key, a couple of picks, plastic bag. So, oh, it's very, very light, super light. They say this is mahogany? I'll have to take a look at the specs again. Rip it, like, like you own it. Huh. Okay. Really light. I'm, I'm really shocked how light this is. Oh, wow. This is, <laughs> man, what is this weight? This might be the lightest guitar I've ever had. Huh. 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 <laughs> um, yeah. What is that? There's like cardboard stuck in there. This is quite interesting. It's uh, still warming up. I hope the nitro doesn't crack. No, just joking. It's not nitro. You can, you can uh, yeah. You should always do that with your guitars. Uh, one of the, uh, okay. That one's loose on the bottom. Interesting. What it, What is interesting? Well, when I when I opened up the, uh, the mini one, the 30 inch, pretty sure I was like shocked. I was like, huh? That's not what the photo looked like. This one, uh, yeah, that's pretty much exactly what the photo, right? That's that's what it looks like. This is pretty nice. <laughs> I'm actually surprised by the uh, the feeling on the neck. It's not sticky. It's like a satin, almost a satin feeling. And uh, frets aren't sharp. It's gonna be horribly out of tune. It's cold out. It, like. Action is crazy high, ridiculously high, but uh, let's plug it in. The pickup, the neck pickup looks curved, like like concave, convex, which is the one that bulges out. <laughs> All right, let's plug it in. Um, it's... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, made in China. It says right there. Okay, let's plug it in. Turn on an amp. Plug it in. Now, <clears throat> this is always a debate. Um, you know, you can put a cheap. Oh, what's the price here? I think on the U.S. the price is like eighty-nine bucks for one of these. And it's like 149 or 189, depending on the color of this. Uh, you take a cheap guitar, put it in a really good amp, and I'm using my Fender Princeton Blue El Nico, and you can make almost any guitar sound good. So just remember, it's probably the amp if this does sound okay. <laughs> Let's try tuning it up. Already, um, like I wasn't disappointed with the 30-inch model. The other, what were the other 
companies called? There was a couple I did. I did. It was in the summertime. And I was like, okay, it's, it's my turn to do these. Hey, I bought the cheapest guitar on Amazon things. Ooh, that doesn't feel good. Tuner's, uh, honest, whoop, almost dropped it. <laughs> I'm not criticizing anything, I'm just saying what it is. Like, I do not expect anything to be good on this. So if anything's good... are hurting like it's actually like stuck wow it's really tuned down Usually I'd cut out the tuning parts, but you know what? If I gotta sit through this, you're gonna sit through this. <laughs> oh, the action is crazy, crazy. I don't know. Let's see if I can. Can you see that? Uh, I just have to hide my eyes. It's like, whatever. It's fun. <laughs> I'm actually impressed with the neck. I'll be honest. It feels fine. Like, the neck feels good. Tuners are junk. The body is super light. I'm amazed by that. Everything else looks kind of... Oh, it is a three-ply pickguard. I just noticed. So the photo is wrong. So it is It is accurate what they're saying. It has a three-ply. It's black, white, black. So they just need to update their photo. But I mean, can I... Let's see if I can get this in the photo. How uh, curved this... Get it in the photo. What are you talking about? Get that there. Can you see that? If I can't, yeah, it's hard to show. Um, it's like it's like thing. <laughs> okay, let's just try something here. It's really hard to play. I don't think I've ever had action this high. Like when I bend, my fingers go under the strings. We zoom in. Uh, let's do, get it. Zoom in on the screen. I don't know if we can zoom in much. This isn't funny, but I mean, it's it's happening. So look, here's what happens when I. So you get the. the okay, let's try a little bit of dirt. Ooh. Spanky. Sounds like a telly for sure. Okay, let's give it a, uh... oh, it's noisy. <laughs> Chuck it, Chuck, hello. Ouch. I think that's all I'm going to do for the tone stuff because it's really not sounding good so yeah it's not sounding good it needs a good setup um i think i'm gonna give it a chance i'm gonna give it a chance and maybe do like 
a follow-up fix it up video because man this is crazy light like i'm talking okay stop for a second how much does this weigh i don't have my scale down here but based on based on okay one that i know uh, oh man okay i think this vola is like seven almost eight feels like half the weight okay i'm gonna give it i'm gonna over i'm gonna overweigh it is that the, even a word i'm gonna say it's six and a half pounds but i feel like it's lighter crazy it's crazy okay so yeah uh i paid 149 I didn't mention I bought this. This is I bought this on Amazon. It's probably the title of the video, so no um, no alarms and no surprises. Gotta tighten that up. I just like the weight. I think maybe I can fix some of the stuff. I got other pickups I could throw in it. Control plate. I got other control plates I could throw in it. I think this could be a cool project guitar. And uh, if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments because I actually read the comments. Yeah, it's, it's okay. I'd say check one out if you want to get one um, for a mod guitar, like a project guitar. I, can't, I just can't get over how light it is. I, I complained about, I had a Harley Benton TE52 and I was complaining about how heavy it was. I guess I said it was heavy a lot because all the comments were like, is it heavy? Is it a heavy guitar? And they were, <laughs> everybody was giving me shit. Um, all right, this is it. This is the Lix Pro 39 inch. Telecaster it says so on the box and uh, I, this isn't a review this is just like a first impressions checking it out and overall first impressions exactly what I expected doesn't sound great needs a setup it's what I say it's garbage uh, pretty pretty close but <laughs> it's not, I'm, I'm actually impressed by the neck and the weight the rest of it no tuner is junk pickups sound like garbage uh, I'm sure we take a look inside. I was impressed that they did a three-ply pick guard. That's that's impressive because they, they said they did and they didn't have one in the picture. Oh, very scratchy. Okay, that's where we're going to end it. Now, if you want to get one, take a look in the description. I'll have Amazon links, affiliate links. And if you use those and you even buy like Kleenex or toilet paper, I get commission on that too. So you can use those links whenever you want. doesn't matter to me. But I think that's the only place they sell it. And uh, I've seen it on the American Amazon and the Canadian Amazon. So I don't think it matters where you are in the world. Maybe they'll have it everywhere. It's the Lix Pro. And uh, that's it. So play guitar and have fun. And I'll see you in the next video. And let me know in the comments. Do you want to see more of this guitar? I'll be up for it. Okay, later. What do I do now? <laughs>